to show you how to make some serious, serious money if you want to get what we call an advertisement package. So an ad pack costs $50 if you want an ad pack. Now, an advertisement package, it's like if you go to the newspaper here in Birmingham and say um, you want to put an advert in the paper, they might say, well, it costs £50 pounds, and we'll put it in on Thursday night or we'll put it in at the weekend. So you can place an advert in the newspaper, but it doesn't guarantee you any visits. That advert. People might read it, people might miss the advert in the newspaper, so you might you might make any money. Um, if you put an advertisement on the radio, more and more people are going to hear it. Because if they're driving home from work or driving to work and your advert goes on the radio, you would buy an advertisement package on the radio, but it's going to cost a lot more than this. They'll want a minimum of a thousand quid, maybe to do a radio advert. But if you go on to television and put your advert on television, then it's going to cost over ten thousand. In fact, 30 second commercial on television can cost up to £100,000 for 30 seconds. Did you realize that? A 30 second TV commercial in between the film and the news can cost £100,000 for 30 seconds. Now, BT uses it quite a lot. And that's why people's phone bills are so big. It's not because you're making the calls. Yeah? It's because they're paying 100000 to tell you it's good to use BT when probably 8 out of 10 people are already on BT. So they're spending that money to get the 20% of people that are on Sky or on some other network. Yeah? So £100,000 for 30 seconds. Can anybody tell me what the BT advert says? No. So they're spending 100000 and you, you change the channel. When the advert comes on, you, you fast forward if you've got Sky Plus because you don't want to listen to the advert. When the advert comes on, you go and make a cup of tea. When the advert comes on, you mute it, and you start talking. Hey, wasn't that good? I like the part <coughs> where, you know, let's say you were watching X Factor, I like the part where the lead dog was dancing, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's starting again, then you turn it on again, you miss the adverts. But these companies are spending millions upon millions upon millions. Facebook made 18 billion last, uh, in 2015, because people spent money on adverts. You couldn't tell me one advert was on Facebook. You're on it every day. You don't know one of the adverts. You couldn't repeat it. And they're spending this money. Guys, what we're doing is we're going to take this money and give it back to you. We're going to take this advertised money and give it to you. Okay? It's very, very simple. So an advertisement package on FutureNet costs $50. Now, $50 is probably about 40 pounds. And what you can do is you can advertise anything you want. If you have another business that you're doing, or if you own an online website, or if you want to sell a book, or if you own a restaurant, or if you own a tar depot, or if you own a car wash, or any business you want, you can advertise on this. Now, if you don't have a business, don't worry about it. If you don't have a business to advertise, it doesn't matter. You can advertise a charity, or you can go and talk to some business people and get them to advertise on this. So an advertisement package costs $50, and we will send 800 customers to have a look at that advertisement. And it's up to the shop or the business to make their advertisement good, to make it interesting, to make the website fancy, to make a nice offer. If there's a good offer, people will opt in and buy something. If there's a bad offer or it's not interesting, people just don't want to know. Yeah? So if I tell you, um, if I tell you uh, brand new BMW yeah, for sale, you'll go, I don't have 40,000, I'm not interested. If I say, brand new BMW for sale, 50% off, what? That's a little bit different, isn't it? Because you now opt in, well, how, how can they do it so cheap? So the point is, from our advertiser's point of view, it's up to the advertiser to make their website interesting and to make a good offer so that people will opt in. So if I'm looking for accommodation tonight in, in Birmingham, and I go hotels Birmingham, and up comes the company of the hotel, uh, and there's no price, I, 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 might, I might not look any further. If it says, uh, great rates, Monday to Friday, 50% off, I'll opt in. So this is important to understand for the advertisers to make their websites interesting and to make a good offer, they'll do a lot of business. Now, we will send 800 customers to have a look at any advertiser's business, okay? And that is our product. That's what an advertisement package is. Some shops, some businesses want more than that. They want to get two advertisement packages and then they get 1,600 viewers. We send 1,600 people to have a look at their website. Some businesses want 
More than that, they buy 10 advertisement packages and then we will send them 8,000 views. And it's up to them to convert that to business. That's what an advertisement package is. It's a product and we sell it. But here's the good news. If you are prepared to watch 10 ads per day, our company will give you up to up to 120% cash back. Now think about this. If someone advertises on the radio, how much does the radio station give back to the advertiser that spent the advertisement? Nothing. If somebody advertises in the newspaper, how much money do they get back from the newspaper? Nothing. They pay for it and that's it. If you advertise on television, how much money do you get back? Nothing. You get the opportunity to get business and customers. This company say to you, if you take out an advertisement package with us, and you watch 10 of our other ads from our other members, we will share the revenue with you. We will give you back your $50, and we will give you up to 20% on top of that. You're actually getting 120% back, which is incredible. 120% back. Now, we make your advertisement package live for about 120 days, approximately. It's plus or minus 120 days. So in about four months from now, you can get 20% profit. So if somebody took out a $500 of ad packs, that's going to turn into $600. If someone takes out $5,000, that's going to become $6,000. And the good news here is you don't have to introduce anybody. You don't have to talk to anybody. You can sit at home and watch 10 ads a day. So what we're saying is you can make a lot of money here without even introducing people. And this is what people love. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to go to Future Ad Pro. And what it says here at the top, I'm live on the website, it says watch ads. See this button here? Watch ads. So I'm going to watch one now with you. So we'll just press this button to see how it works. Watch ads. I'm going to tell you now, guys, there's nine advertisements. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when we scroll down, there's three more. There are nine advertisements you can watch, okay? So you pick any one now, so let's say we pick, okay, here's, <laughs> anybody got a double chin like me? <laughs> yeah? This company is selling a product that can get rid of your chin, right? Now, I'm not interested, okay? So what I have to do is I have to wait until the green line goes to the end, and that's me finished. And you can watch it like this. <laughs> yeah? But you have to do 10 of these in a day. And we're going to pay you every 15 minutes for the next 24 hours. So here's the first one. Now, if you were interested in that product, you can go in and buy it or you can go in and do something with it. This could be a hotel. This could be any business advertising here. Now that the green line's gone to the end, we've watched one advertisement. So you can see, you can see how that works. Let's go to the second one, next ad. So it brings up this rotator of nine adverts again. You can get the same ad repeating. Like when you're watching a film, an advertisement comes up, let's say Coca-Cola. And then at the next break, you get the Coca-Cola ad again. It can't, you can't get the same ad twice, but it's up to you. You can pick which one you want to, to look at. So you have to do, so here's somebody selling, I don't know what they're selling here, but again, you have to wait till the green line goes across the page. And that's the second one. Now I'm going to tell you about the incredible world of business. This is a website, sorry. Okay. So these are live websites, you can go in and buy stuff, you can go and look at stuff, there's gadgets on there, there's iPhones on there, there's travel companies, there's all sorts of businesses advertising. Your job is to watch 10 of these a day. It takes about 5 minutes. So when you're having your breakfast, you can do them and that's you finished for the day. Or before you go to bed at night, just watch 10 of them and that's you finished for the day. And what we'll do guys is we will pay you every 15 minutes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pay you at the top of the hour, we're going to pay you at quarter past the hour, we're going to pay you at half past the hour, and we're going to pay you at quarter to the hour. We will pay everybody in this room every 15 minutes, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We will pay you every 15 minutes, right? So, how many 15 minutes is in an hour? Oh. How many 15 minutes is in a day? 96. 96. When was the last time you got paid 96 times in a day? 
してて。Most people get paid once a week or once a month, generally. This company will pay you 96 times every day and we're starting now. If you register now, we will pay you in 15 minutes. And that's how we know this program works. When you share this with anyone, 15 minutes after they've got started, they've just made money. And that's what's exciting. So now it's costing you money sitting here if you don't have an ad pack. It's now costing you money. So when the presentation's over, you should say, listen, I don't really understand how it works, but get me an ad pack. Get me started. Buy an ad pack, watch 10 ads, and for the next 24 hours, we'll pay you. And tomorrow, we'll pay you again. So when I go to bed tonight, I make money. When I'm standing here right now, I'm making money. Why? Because I'm getting paid every 15 minutes. When I was on the airplane today, I made money. Yeah, my phone was off. I wasn't allowed to turn it on. I made money. When I was on the train coming up to New Street, I made money. Tomorrow, when you're at work, you'll be making money here without doing the work. The work is five minutes a day to watch 10 ads. So all you need to do to qualify is this here. If you can click a mouse, watch, watch me do it, right? I'm going to click this mouse, we'll have to go to the next ad, watch. Click this, click, right? You can see I've watched three ads today, you maybe you can't see that, three of ten. I have ten to do, I've only watched three so far. I've watched two of them with you there now. I'm going to watch another one now. Click that, so if you can click a mouse you can make money. If you do click, ten clicks a day, and we will pay you. So let's watch this, well, it's very hard work isn't it? <laughs> it's the hardest work I've ever done in my life. You just watch ten of these, and you're, you're paid 96 times a day, is that interesting? Now, I know there's a lot of new people, half this room are new people. I want the people that are in the business to put up their hands up if you got paid 15 minutes ago. Did anybody get paid 15 minutes ago? Guys, if you're new, look at these guys with their hands up. These people are all getting paid every 15 minutes. These people are getting paid 96 times a day. I'm going to ask this gentleman here. This is the first man I spoke to. I met him one year ago exactly approximately, thereabouts. One year today, happy birthday. <laughs> How much have you got paid since I met you a year ago? Over 66,000. Over 66,000. You're still friends, eh? You're still friends. Still friends. <laughs> yeah. This gentleman, give it up a round of Now, why did he do that? Why did he make that money? Because every day he watches 10 hours. He takes five minutes of his busy life, and then we pay him. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that fantastic? Anybody else here? How long are you involved in the business? A few months. A few months. How much have you got paid? Over 2,000. Over 2,000. Just a couple of months, this guy's made over 2,000. What do you do? Click on a mouse. If you can do this, you can make money. This gentleman here, Shaquille, if you don't mind saying. Yeah. Do you click a mouse? I do. How much have you got paid? Uh, about 50,000. <coughs> about 50,000. This gentleman's made about 50,000. 50,000. One five, sorry, fifteen thousand. Okay, this lady here, do you click a mouse? Yes, I do. How much have you got paid? Uh, two thousand. Over two thousand. Okay. So what I want to tell you guys is this works, and if you don't believe me, after the presentation, if you get your ad pack and you don't get paid fifteen minutes later, I give you double what you pay. Well, okay. So if you start with fifty or a hundred or five thousand or fifty thousand. And you don't get paid every 15 minutes, I will double your 50,000. I'll give you 100,000. Yeah? I have 5,000 cash with me here today. <laughs> yeah. Because I know it works. Which I know it works. Which when, bank? Which bank? When I. <laughs> which bank? Oh, no. He's got his check. This man will verify. Um, that, that, that's not the point. The point is this. When I first heard this, I didn't think it worked. Why? Because I never tried it. I didn't believe it. When he first heard it, he didn't believe me. Oh, that doesn't work. But 15 minutes later, it worked. He went, oh, I'll, I'll check in half an hour. Half an hour later, he checked. Oh, I got paid. An hour later, he got paid. He went to bed the first night and he didn't sleep that well because he kept waking up every half an hour. <laughs> But after about three days, it gets boring because it always works. You always get paid. 
So for the first time, if you're new, you probably don't understand it or believe it, but 15 minutes after you start, you go, wow, it worked for me also. It's an incredible opportunity and so easy. And the good news is you don't have to introduce people. And that's what people love. Did you know that? People don't like introducing other people to stuff. But you don't have to with this and you still make money. Now, if you do introduce members, let's say you know somebody wants to make money. Do you know anybody who can click a mouse? Yeah. You do know people who can click a mouse? Yes. Who? Who can click a mouse? Everybody. Everybody. All right. So, I'm going to show you how to make some serious money if you share this idea with others. So this is some free money for clicking the mouse. But if you can get some other members and help us build the community, we're going to <laughs> Sorry, this is these adverts going on. Click next. This is what it looks like. This is what your money like. No, I'm going to have to do that. Someone's happy. Turn the radio off. Anyway, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to show you how to make some serious money, guys. Um, this, this is you here, okay? This is you, right? How many people do you know can click a mouse realistically? Everybody. Okay. You don't know everybody, sure you know. But you know a thousand people. You know a thousand people, do you? How many people went to your wedding? How many people went to school with you? Five thousand. Yeah. How many people did you meet in holidays? How many people live in your street? How many people have your relatives? How many people have you on Facebook? How many emails have you had? You know a thousand people, don't you? Do you think we could get ten people to click a mouse? That was it? That's easy. Do you think those 10 people know 1,000 people? Yeah. Well, if they only got 10 people to click a mouse, we now pay you on 110 people clicking a mouse. So you get paid when you click the mouse, but we'll also pay you when these 110 people click their mouse. You go to sleep, they watch ads, we pay you. How does that sound? These 100 people are the same as you. They all know 1,000 people because you know 1,000 people. Let's say they only got 10 customers that went on to the, the, the site. If everybody gets 10 customers, now you have 1,110 customers, you don't know them, but every time they click a mouse, we're going to pay you. Do you think these 1,000 people know 1,000 people each? Of course they do. But if they only showed it to 10 people, you would have 11,110 people, and every time they watch ads, we pay you some money. How does that sound? Do you think these 10,000 people know 1,000 people each? Of course they do. If you know 1,000, they know 1,000. Imagine they only showed it to 10 people. Now you've got 100,000 people watching adverts. When they watch the adverts, we pay you. So there's two ways you can make money. Tell nobody and we'll pay you if you watch the ads. But if you tell some people and they tell some people, we pay you and all of these customers when they watch the ads. How does that sound? Amazing. Let me show you how much we pay you. We pay you 8% on these first customers. So an ad pack is $50. How much is 8% of $50? New people only. Answer the question. If an advertisement package costs $50, and we're going to pay you 8% of that, how much are you going to get paid? Who said that? Omar. <laughs> Top of the class. So you get paid $4. Omar's right. You get $4 on every ad pack. But you've got 10 customers, so you make $40. Is that exciting? Yes. No. $40 doesn't excite me. <laughs> but guess what? We pay you 4% on the next customers. What's 4% of $50? New people only. What's 4% of 50? $2. $2, correct. But there's 100 customers watching the ad, so you get $200. Is that exciting? $240. Yeah, much better, isn't it? We pay you 1% of these customers. What's 1% of a $50 ad pack? New people only. 1% of $50. What's 10% of $50? Five. 1% is 50 cents, okay? But that 50 cent, you've got 1,050 cents. Yeah? So it's actually $500. Now you're making $740. We also pay you 1% on the next generation, and 1% on the next generation. So it's 50 cent times 10,000, that's 5,000 you make. And here you make 50,000. So this gentleman here has made 50,000, yeah? 
because he's lots of customers now watching adverts and he makes money when they're watching the ads, which is incredible. Now, if your 10 customers only buy one ad pack and quit, and these buy ten, one ad pack and quit, you make $55,740 if everybody only buys one ad pack. Okay. But what you will realize is sometimes these customers will buy one ad pack every month. So you make 55000 a month. If these guys buy one ad pack a week, every week they just buy one ad pack, just one new ad pack in a week, you make 55000 in a week. If these people buy an ad pack every single day, you can make 55000 a day. Now our top earner is making 17000 per day. 17000 per day at the moment. Okay? So that will give you an idea of the potential. So you don't have to tell anybody about this, we we'll still pay you. But if you do care to share this idea with others, we're going to pay you a whole lot more. Does that make sense? There's two sides to what we do. So that's two parts over tonight. The first part is our free social media platform. It costs you nothing, nada, zero. You like, share, post, and comment. You build a community. We will pay you for your social media content. Upload a photograph, we'll pay you. Like a comment, we'll pay you. It's all free, we pay you. Everybody understand the first part. The second part is when you go into the back office and you buy an advertisement package, we will send 800 customers to your website. So you can sell them whatever you're doing. If you own a hotel or a restaurant or a business or you're, you, you, you have a charity, we will send customers to your business. Okay? You, and you make money. But if you watch 10 ads a day yourself, we will pay you 96 times a day. Hands up again, those people are getting paid 96 times a day. These people in this room with their hand up are getting paid 96 times a day. This lady has made over 2,000, this gentleman's made 15,000, this gentleman's made over 50,000, that guy told us he made 2,000. Yep. What kind of money have you made? Five or six thousand, what kind of money have you made? You're brand new. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. How long, when did you get started? Huh? Sixteen thousand in one month. Wow. Sixteen thousand in one month. You guys are the back of the room, how much have you got paid? About sixty thousand. Sixty thousand. A student at university has made sixty thousand in less than one year. Why? Because he can do that. Now check, you can do it. Everybody practice. This is the training. This is how we train our people. Practice, ready? One, two, three, click. Yeah, everybody can do that. Click. <coughs> click. Uh, you probably can't see this, but if you need to see verification of the incomes, <laughs> this gentleman's got 66,000. I thought he said 50 earlier. Do you not hear 50? It was 60, he said. Okay, 66,000. But that's going up every 15 minutes. Okay? So, it's very easy to do, guys. Does that make sense to you? What's easy to do is to sit on your sofa with a remote control and change the channel with the remote. That's easy. Change the channel, yeah? But if the remote control's not near you and it's not in the living room and you're sitting on the sofa and you want to change the channel, it's not easy to do now. <laughs> because you have to get up with your... Yeah? Okay. And you have to walk all the way over from the sofa to the TV and then you have to figure out, where's the blooming buttons? <laughs> How do you change the TV? So it's easy to do, but it's equally easy not to do. And some people come to our meetings and say, well, that sounds easy, but they go home and don't do anything. Do you understand? So you've got to take action for anything to happen. It's very important to take action. You see, have you ever heard the expression, you've been in the right place at the right time? Yes. Right. Were you ever in the right place at the right time? Yes. You were? Okay, here's a question. How old is Facebook? 11. 10, 11 years old. Were you around when that started? Yes. You were in the right place at the right time? How much money did you make? Facebook. <laughs> Nothing. Why? You Nothing. didn't take any action, you didn't do anything about it. You didn't buy shares, you didn't get involved in the company, you did nothing about it. There's a guy called Bono, anybody know who Bono is? He's the lead singer of a band, an Irish rock band called U2, if you've ever heard of U2, big Irish rock band. 
Bono is a multi multi millionaire from the U2 rock band. Have you heard of U2? Yeah? Massive. Global rock stars, yeah? He has made more money from Facebook than he has singing all his life. Because he took action. When he heard about Facebook, he got involved. When I heard about Facebook, I laughed. I said, that won't work. <laughs> I said, Face what? Face that won't work. Because the story, and some of you know the story, is my sister said to me, you know, I'm going to send you a link to Facebook. I want you to click on it. I said, you're going to send me what? I'm going to send you a link to Facebook. Click on it. I said, I'm not clicking on that. <laughs> she said, why not? I said, I could... It could be a virus, it could, it could wreck my computer, I'm not clicking. What's Facebook? It's 10 years ago. I said, what's Facebook? Oh, listen, it's, everybody's getting on now, it's easy. You just click, it's free, you get on. And, and I said, well, what's it all about? Listen, I want you to be my friend. And I said, hold on, you're my sister. You want me to be my friend? This doesn't make sense. What, what, what do you want to be my friend for? Listen, I'm going to put a picture of our dog on it. Yeah, our little dog. <laughs> and I want you to like it. Go away. <laughs> Go away. You want me to do that? Go away. That's stupid. That won't work. That's what I said when I heard about Facebook. Can you imagine how that conversation went? Does it sound normal enough? But today it's accepted. Today it's been proven. But I took no action. I made no money. And it's the same here. We're telling you about a concept that's very like Facebook, only we pay you. We pay our members. All the advertising comes in, we share it with our members. We give it back. Facebook did 18 billion last year and gave you nothing. Yeah, we're sharing it back. 66,000, 15,000, 16,000 in a month. Can you see where this is going? You've got to take action. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to bring people to the presentation. Because if you had brought 10 guests today, you might have 8 new customers. Because I can close about 8 out of 10. On a bad day. But if you don't bring new members or new guests, how are we going to build a community? So it's up to you to put three or four people in the car. Do you know why? Because behind the seat with the steering wheel, there's three empty seats. And there's another empty seat beside you. So if you drove here on your own, you just missed taking four people, four guests to the presentation to build your business with. You see, I came all the way from Ireland. I left the house at 1 o'clock, I drove an hour to the airport, I had a wait on a flight, I got on an aeroplane, I got off at Birmingham, I took a train up to New Street, I got picked up outside TK Maxx, I drove all the way over here and I got here. Yeah. And some people from Birmingham didn't even get here for 6 o'clock because of the traffic. <laughs> but I had traffic in Ireland, I had traffic in Birmingham, but I had an aeroplane in a way. I had a train to get, and I got here. What happened to your guest? What happened to your members? You did not make this event important enough. Because even though this man made 66,000, he could have made half a million last year. If he had done more action. That's true. So whatever you want to earn, you write the check. It's like going to work and the boss says, okay, you worked all, what, 40 hours this week or here? Whatever number you want to put down on it. What? I normally get 500 a week. No, no, make it 55,000. Whatever you want, you write the check yourself with this business. Whatever you want to earn. If you want to earn 500 a week, it's here. It's easy. If you want to earn 500 a day, it's easy. If you want to earn 500 an hour, 500 an hour is possible. You write the check with your efforts. The more members, the more customers, the more activity, the more action, the more you make. It's right up to you. So I want to finish with the third and final part, and then I'll tell you about our, our, our new stuff coming. So that's the first two parts over. Let's talk about the third part. The third part, I think, is brilliant. And this is what we call our rewards program. Now, there are many companies out there doing rewards program. For instance, Boots Chemist have a rewards program. If you go into Boots Chemist and you buy something, they give you a little loyalty card when you, sh when you present that at the till, they give you some points. When you go to Tesco, 
you can get this club card, and when you go to the till, the girl says, you know, do you have a club card? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's on my key ring. They scan and give you some points. That's called a reward system for shopping with them. We also have a reward system for shopping on our FutureNet portal, on our FutureNet platform. We have a reward system. It's much better than the Tesco one. Because the problem with the Tesco one is they only give you the points for what you spend. We give you points for what all the other customers spend as well. So when you go into Tesco and spend 100 pounds on groceries, they give you 100 points. You get one point for pound spent. And you can gather these points up and go back some day later and say, you know, I've got some points, I've got vouchers, and you get some free stuff. You get some value. But you don't get anything from the next customer that comes into Tesco. You only get what you spend. You understand that's how their program works. Our program works like that, only it's better. When you go through here and spend some money, we give you points. But when all the next customers come through the till, we get, you get their points as well. So I'm going to show you how our rewards program works. We have six reward programs. I'll just put them into six boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six different reward programs. They're all free, right? But you've got to spend some money to get the points, all right? So say you just spend $10 on our platform. If you spend $10, we'd give you 1,000 MP. MP stands for media points. So if you go on our website and spend $10 on our digital products, we give you 1,000 points, yeah? If you spend another $25, we'll give you 2,500 media points. You can use those points to buy some of our digital products on our website, like cloud or video email, or you can store these up and spend them later on stuff as well. If we introduce a new product next year or in three months from now, you could use those points then to buy some of our products, if the ones we have in the minute don't suit you. We also have a shop there where you can buy umbrellas and mugs and cups and pens and all these shirts and uh, perfumes and aftershaves. We have our own FutureNet branded products that you can spend some of these points on as well. Now, I would recommend everybody go online and buy some of our FutureNet mugs and pens and stuff like that. And the reason is this, if somebody comes around to the house for a cup of tea, give them their cup of tea in a FutureNet mug. And make sure you're drinking out of one as well. Because when people are drinking out of the tea, they're not reading the cup. But if they see your cup and they want the same, they start to look at the and go, what is FutureNet? What's this FutureNet thing? You've just got yourself a customer. Did you say anything to them? No. He said, do you take sugar? Do you take milk? And they said, what's FutureNet? You've just got a customer. If you've got a FutureNet pen in your pocket, always use your FutureNet pen. Because when you use somebody, can I borrow a pen? They'll borrow it and not notice FutureNet's on it. But if you said, can I have my FutureNet pen back? Your what pen? Can I have my FutureNet? What's FutureNet? you just got a customer. Does it rain in this country? Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to buy a FutureNet umbrella. And when the sun's up, you put the umbrella. And people will come up to you and say, it's not raining. <laughs> you say, I'm trying to keep the sun off me. This is my FutureNet umbrella. Your what umbrella? My FutureNet umbrella. It says FutureNet on it. What's FutureNet? Well, I don't have time to discuss, but we're in a meeting company. We'll tell them Monday night. Can I meet you for a cup of tea? Or listen, come around to the house tonight. So you use these products we have to help you develop your business. Does that make sense? And you can spend some of these points to get these products as well. Not all of them, but some of them. For those customers that spend $50 on our website, on our digital products, we give them 5,000 media points. But if you buy these products, we will put you in the rewards program for free. You see, Tesco do it for free as well. Spend some money on groceries, we give you some points for free. We put you in a reward system. We do the same. Spend $10 or $25 or $50, and we will put you for free in our reward system. Okay? We have a $100 reward system. So if you spend another $100 on some of our products, we put you in this one. If you spend $500 on our products, we put you in this one. If you spend $1,000 on products, we will put you in this one. And that's it, we can't do any more. We only have six reward programs. Some people do $185 and go into four of them. And later on, then they go into this one and this one. Some go into them all. I went into them all. Hands up those people that went into them all. Yeah? The clever people go into them all because there's some extra benefits if you go into them all. 
you buy some products, we put you in here for free. Now the good news is this. The next customer goes in here behind you. This is where it's different to Tesco. When you go into Tesco and go through the till and get your points, that's it. It doesn't matter who else comes into the shop. With our online shop, the next customer falls in behind you and we give you 5% of what they spend. We will give you 5% of what the other customers spend in the shop online. And then the next customer goes in here. Yeah? And then the next customer goes in here. So if you have three customers that come into FutureNet, that's it. You can't get any more customers than three. There are only three empty locations immediately behind you in our reward system. That's it. If there's a fourth customer that joins, they must go behind those three. Even if they didn't introduce them. It's incredible. So what actually happens is over time, the goal is to fill up these reward programs. Right? And I can show you how to do that. It's quite easy. So imagine this was a Tesco shop in Birmingham. I'm going to tell you that you can only fit in 88,572 customers in each of these Tescos, as an example, yeah? 88,572 customers can fit into these Tesco reward programs, only it's the FutureNet rewards program. Let me show you how that works, guys. It's very easy. If you showed this to three people who went online, that's it, finished. You don't need any more customers. You've got three customers in the world, right? If those guys showed it to three customers, you would have 12 customers in your rewards program. You'll get paid any time these 12 customers buy anything on FutureNet. Does that make sense? You find three customers, they find three customers, but you get paid on 12 customers. If these new nine people find three customers, what's three nines? New people only. 27. How many people are in your rewards program? Three that you did, but there's, there's, there's uh, 30, 39 and yourself, there's 40 people in the program. You introduce three, they introduce three, everybody introduces three, there's now 40 customers in the shop. Those customers buy anything in the shop, we pay you. You only find three customers, got that? If these 27 people find three customers each, there's now 120 customers in the shop. And every time they buy something, we pay you. But you only ever find three customers. Because 81 and 9 is 90 customers, 27 and 3 is 30, 30 and 90 is 120 customers are in the shop and you're getting paid every time they buy something. If these 81 customers got three customers each, there's another 200 customers in the business and every time they buy something we pay you. If these people find three customers each, there's now over a thousand customers online and every time they buy something you get paid. If these 729 new customers find three customers each, there's now 3,000 customers in your shop. And every time they buy something online, we pay you 5%. 2,000 people find three customers each. Three sevens is 21. Three eights is 24. Two is 26. Three ones is three and two is five. Three twos is six. There's now 9,000 customers in your business. And every time they order something, they pay you 5%. How many customers did you find? Three. Three ones is three. Three sixes is 18. Three fives is 15 and one's 16. Three sixes is 18 and one's 19. There are now 30,000 customers in your business. How many did you find? Every time these 30,000 people buy something, we pay you. So you go to sleep, they buy something, we pay you. How does that sound? Three threes are nine, three eights is 24, three six is 18, and two is 20, three nines is 27, two is 29, three ones is three, and two is five. <coughs> there is now 88,572 customers in your shop if you add all those numbers up. So when I go back to this slide here, I was saying to you, 
If that was Tesco's, imagine the Tesco's in your area that could only stick 88,000 customers into the shop, it's full. Can't get any more people in here. That's how you fill up these reward programs. Find three, help them find three, help them find three, and we put 88,000 people into the shop. So what actually happens is we pay you 5%. So if these customers only spend $10, let's say these customers only spend $10 on our shop. You're getting 5%. What's 5% of $10? New people only. 5% of $10. Who's the math genius? 50p. Huh? 50p. 50p, he's correct. So you're getting 50p on every customer. But you've got 88,000 50p's. Do you know how much that is? 44,286 dollars. How much did you spend in the shop? How much did we give you back? 44,000. Is it worth spending $10 in the shop and helping us build the community? Absolutely. In this one, you get 5% of those customers that spend $25. New paper, back of room only. 5% of 25. You see, when I was in school, we didn't have calculators. That tells you how old I am. That's why I do my maths here, in the head always. If you get lazy, your, your brain gets lazy, you won't be able to do it. I can do the sums for my kids faster than they can type it into the calculator. And they're allowed to take a calculator into their exams. I don't do that. It's very easy how to do this. 5% of $25. 10% is 250. 5% is half of 250, which is 125. So you're getting 125 on every single customer that buys something in here. And you're getting 50p from everybody who buys something in here. But the potential, the potential is 88,000 people. 88,000 times 125 is about approximately 110,000. So you've just paid 150,000 but you only ever spent $35 if you fill this program out. It's a very rewarding program. I call it a rewards program for building the community. Yeah? Imagine I open a new shop, yeah? Like Tesco, it's a brand new big shop, and I want to get Tesco customers. I say to you, when you come through the till and you spend 100 quid, I'll give you a fiver back. We do all the things that Tesco do, we'll give you a fiver back when you come into my shop. Well, I'll try it. He'll try it once. He comes in, spends a hundred pounds, I give him a fiver back. He says, thanks very much. I says, tell some customers to come to my shop and I'll give you a fiver on each of them. So he tells three customers, he gets a five percent, five percent, five percent. Can you see what happens? And they tell some customers, now I build my business, my shop's full of customers, and everybody's making money. Teslas don't do that. They only give you on what you spend, not on what the other customers spend. That's why I think this is a better system. Does it all make sense to you? Yeah. So in here, we're getting 5% of $50. 5% of $50 is $5. Yeah? No, it's $250. It's $250. 10% is $5. 5% is 250 You're getting $250 on every customer. The potential here is $220,000 if we fill a full rewards program. So when you add 220 to 110, that's 330,000, to another 45,000, you're talking about $375,000 of commission is sitting way on you tonight to help us build this rewards program. How much have you spent on our shop? 10 plus 25 plus 50, you've spent about $85, about 50 pounds. And the potential commission coming back to you if you help us build this is $385,000. Is it worth trying? Guys, if you only do 10% of that, it's 37,000. 10% of what I'm explaining, we can still pay you 37,000. Okay, the next one's easy. 5% of 100 is $5. So 88,000 fibers is 440 grand. So in this rewards program alone, you can earn maximum 440 grand one time only. Now these customers can spend more than $100. They can spend $100 every year. And you get this every year. But this one alone pays you $440,000 if you fill it. But if you add the $440,000 to the $375,000, you're looking at $750,000 business. And all you've spent is $185 once in your life to try some video email products, to try some cloud services, to try some landing pages, and you use those products to build your business. Yeah? 
you use that video email product that you pay for to promote your business, get more customers to build your business. You can use these digital products. The next one, we give you 5% of 500. There's some people that are coming here who've got my head fried. <laughs> I didn't want to get a mild lesson. But you don't have to understand this to make this work, guys. You see, I didn't understand how an airplane works, but I got here. I knew that the airplane would get me from Belfast to Birmingham in 40 minutes. All I had to do was sit down and clip in the seat. That's all I did. I did nothing else. And all of a sudden, up into the sky. I did nothing. I didn't press any buttons. I didn't work out the calculation. I didn't work out the fuel. I didn't work out the speed. I didn't work out the miles per hour. I just sat there, and that airplane took me from A to B. That was my journey. This vehicle, FutureNet, will take you from where you are now to where you want to be. If you want 750,000, you don't have to understand how it works tonight. You just have to know that it does work. And get on the plane, put on your seatbelt, and get ready to go. It's easy to do. But it's equally easy not to do. Yeah, it's easy to do, but it's easy not to do. Some people just don't do it. Some people do. It's up to you. Now, if you're getting 5% of every 500 spent, you're getting $25 on every customer. 88,000 times $25 is 2.2 million. Now it gets serious money. When you take the first five rewards program, the total bonus is approximately $3 million of commission that can go into your house. $3 million. Actually, the guy that's making the $17,000 a day, a day, is making it from this, not the Future Ad Pro, by the way. It's all coming from this. And if you remember me a year ago, this is what I talked about. This is where it's at. It's incredible. In the last one, you're getting 5% of 1,000. You're getting $50 on every customer. 88,000 times $50 is 4.4 million approximately. When you add all six reward programs, one time only, you're looking at somewhere in the region of 7.4 million a commission. I'm not saying everybody's going to get that, no. Because not everybody's going to do the work. But if you've got 50% of that, you've made three and a half million. If you do 10% of that, you've made almost three quarters of a million if you do 10% of that. Now, how do you do it? You show it to three people. That's you done. They show it to three. They show it to three. They show it to three. Everybody just shows it to three. If everybody carries their weight and does three, you've got 88,000 people in your business. You've just made yourself 7.4 million. But we pay a little bonus on top. Okay? And the bonus on top is very, very simple. We will pay you up to a 50% check match. Check match. 50% check match on anybody you introduce. Say you introduce that lady there, and she goes and makes herself 500 this week. She's happy. Yeah? She was able to stay at home with the kids. She didn't have to go to work. She made 500 online, watching ads, or however she made the money. This company will say to you, we're going to give you an extra $250 this week as a bonus. Why is that? Because we would not know who this lady was when you invited her here to have a look at it. Because you invited her, we will give you 50% of what she makes. We're not taking it away from her, she's getting her full money. We're going to take 50% of what she got out of our pocket and give it to you as an extra bonus. You can make up to 50% check match on your personal enrollee. Let's say you introduce this guy here and he makes 2000 this week. The company says, here's an extra 1000 for you this week. They give you a 50% check match on anybody you share this with. So, if you shared it with three people and they all make seven and a half million each, that's 21 million, 22 million, you get 50% of that, you make 11 million if you share it with three people that do that. Isn't that scary money? If you do 10% of it, what's 10% of three people? It's impossible, it's a third of a person. You only need three people and teach them to find three, you teach them to find three, you teach everybody to find three, you have 88,000 customers. If you do 10% of that, say 8,000 customers in your business, you get 10% of seven and a half million. You make three quarters of a million. That's our rewards program. So there are three separate functions with FutureNet. Social media, where we pay for like, share, and comment. 
Our future ad pro, we pay $50, we give you back 120%. And we've got this rewards program, which is just incredible. I don't expect you to understand everything I've said if you're new here tonight. Other than to get the feeling that this works. This is good. I don't understand it, but it's good. When I go and see a nice car, I don't understand it, but it's good. If I look at a nice little Porsche, I'm like, I like the wheels, I like the shape. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Let me sit in it. I don't know how it really works. I don't know how the fuel gets from the tank down through the middle of the car, up into the engine, through the piston, in through here. I don't understand that. But I know if I turn it on and start driving it, it starts to go. Yeah? And the first time you drive a car, it's clunky. It's awkward. Anybody drive a car here? How do we drive a car? Some of you drive a car. Some of you don't understand how it works. And I'll tell you what's quite clunky the first time you get in a car. The driving instructor says, put on your seatbelt. So you're doing this and you're talking to... It's hard to put on a seatbelt sometimes. <laughs> Right, okay, that's it. Now look in that mirror, and that mirror, and then this mirror. Just what? Look in that mirror, that mirror, and that mirror. Put your foot in here, turn the key, do that there with the accelerator, move that up into that, let off the handbrake. What? All at once? It's a bit awkward. And you, it does this at the start. You try it again, and it does this. And it conks out. And you do it a few times, and then you get the hang of it. And then you take it for a wee drive around, and there's another car coming in, and you go, oh, sugar, here's a car, oh, what do I do, what do I do? Stop, 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 stop. And you take it out again and again, and it's easier and easier. And I bet you anybody who drove here drove here subconsciously tonight. Without thinking about it, you drove here. You don't even remember turning the key. You don't remember putting in the clutch. You don't remember putting on the indicator. You don't remember looking in the mirror. You don't remember saying, how do I get here? It all happened naturally, and it's the same with this business. It's a bit clunky at the start. Awkward, I don't understand all the bits, but you don't have to. That's the message. We teach that over time. We do trainings every day, every week, online, offline. We work with our community, we help, we support, we build the business, and then it gets nice and easy. But we really, guys, we really have to start building the community. We need more and more guests. There should be twice the people here tonight, twice that. If you were doing the work, roll the sleeves up, there should be twice. Yeah? So, that's the three parts of our business. It's very, very exciting. I suggest you get involved in all three areas if you can, whatever you can afford to do. I would also highly recommend what we call a royal position is doing all of these six um, rewards programs. If you can possibly afford to go in for $10 and buy $10 worth of products, plus the $25, plus the $50, plus this, if you can go in for royal, we're going to give you some extra incentives. Because ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you about the release of our new uh, currency. Is there anyone in the room familiar with cryptocurrency? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cryptocurrency. Have you heard of cryptocurrency? No? Okay. Let me explain. Something that gets too young here. TV in the old days was called analog television. It's now went digital. Radio was analog radio. It's now gone digital. Everything's gone digital. The alarm clock is digital. Everything is turning music used to be vinyl, then it went to CD, it went digital. <coughs> Everything's going digital. Guess what guys? Money is going digital. <coughs> They're going to do away with paper money as you know it. That will be eventually removed from society. Since the beginning of time there have been over 4,000 currencies on this planet. 4,000 currencies on this planet. Every single one of them has disappeared except for the ones that are available today. There are not 4,000 currencies available today. It's narrowed down. There used to be a thing called the German Reichmark. Then there was the German Mark. Both of those currencies are gone. There was the Belgian franc, there was the French franc. Both of them are gone. There was the Italian lira. That's now gone. In Ireland, our currency was called the punt. It's gone. Since the beginning of time, there have been 4,000 currencies, and every single one of them has disappeared except the ones that are alive today. I'm going to tell you that the currencies that we have today are in big trouble. The biggest one in trouble is the dollar, the American dollar. Does anybody know why the American dollar is in trouble?
the government print as much of it as they want. This is the problem. If I give you a glass of orange, concentrate orange, and I add water to the orange, once the glass fills, it probably tastes all right. But if I keep adding water, and keep adding water, and keep adding water, it loses its taste. It loses its value. So what's happening in, in Europe, they're printing 80 billion euro per month. The government is secretly taking paper, putting a 50 euro note sign on it, and bringing it into circulation. They're diluting the value of the euro, so if you've got some euro, it's becoming worth less and less and less and less because they're printing more and more and more. America is printing dollars like they're going out of fashion. Now, you've probably heard they're 19 trillion in debt. Have you ever heard that figure, 19 trillion in debt? America is 19 trillion in debt. Does anybody know what that means? I'm going to explain to you what it means now. Some of you have heard me doing this before. Do you know how long it takes to count to a million? If you count it one, two, imagine I could print a dollar. No, it takes me, say, one second. Just to get a printer and print a dollar. One second, one dollar. Print another dollar, two seconds. How long would it take me to print a million single dollar bills? Anybody know? New people, have a guess. A million seconds. <laughs> yeah? If it takes you one second to print one dollar, it takes a million seconds to print a million dollars. How long is a million seconds? 11 and a half days. So it would take you 11 and a half days to print 1 million. How long would it take you to print a billion? Thirty two years. It would take the American government thirty two years to print one dollar bill every second for the next thirty two years. That's a billion. A trillion. No. They're 19 trillion in debt. It would take them 32,000 years printing one dollar bill every second for 32,000 years to do one trillion. They are 19 trillion dollars in debt. If you had dollars at the start of this year, they're worth less now than they were at the beginning of the year. We're only four months in. If you had euro at the start of the year, if somebody give you a thousand euro in January, it won't buy you a thousand euros worth of stuff today. It'll buy you 970 quid's worth of stuff. It's losing value because they're printing more of it. Pound sterling. Your pound is worth less now than it was at the beginning of the year. You don't see that because you're still going to buy your stuff with it. But I see it. Because, let, let, let me explain this to you because you have to understand money. There's a bit of financial education in here. I was buying a horse in Southern Ireland. I live in Northern Ireland which is pound sterling. I was buying a horse in Southern Ireland, right? So we we'll say the horse was a thousand quid, right? Just as an example. So the horse was a thousand quid, and I went to the owner of this horse. I said, "This is a fabulous horse. My son would really, really like this animal." Uh, I don't have the money with me, but will you keep me the horse, and I'll come back and give you the money? He says, "Yes, yes, yes." And listen, I want you to get it. But uh, I'll be very, very pleased. Let go and get me the money. I says, "Listen, I have a problem. What's the problem?" I says, "I have a tax bill at the end of January. I want to pay my tax, get that all done, and then I'll come and pay. Will you keep the horse until?" first week of February. He says, okay. Okay, I trust you. Anyway, we agreed that was the price of the horse. And I worked out at that time, that horse was costing me 800 pounds sterling. 1,000 euro was 800 pounds sterling. So I knew I needed 800 quid to buy this horse and had five weeks to get the 800 quid. In February, I went to change the 800 to get 1,000 but it only took me 700 pounds to get the thousand. I made 100 quid. I saved 100 quid. When I went and paid for the horse, the man shook my hand. He says, I knew you were an honest man. <laughs> and I'm delighted. Because he was delighted he got his thousand quid. He was away happy. He did not see what I saw. That's all he saw. And that's the same for you here with your dealing with your pounds. You see your pound for a pound, but it's buying you less and less and less and less. Do you know, in the 1970s, a house in the UK was 3,000 pounds to buy a house. 
You couldn't put a roof on a house for £3,000. You couldn't put windows. You couldn't get a kitchen for £3,000. But in the 1970s, houses were... 60s and 70s was £3,000 for a house. In the 1980s, it was £28,000 to buy a house. The average house in the 80s. Much as to buy a house now? Probably the average house is about 150000 in the UK today. Has the houses changed? No, it's the same house we're talking about here. It's the same house. That house is that house, is that house. What's happened? It's taking more money to buy the same thing. Because the money's getting worth less and less and less. You need more of it to do the same thing. The reason that is occurring is because the governments have taken away gold. It used to be every pound was worth so much gold. So they couldn't print any more money because they had to get more gold before they could print it. In 1971, they removed the gold standard and allowed them to print as much as they want. And since that, what you have in your pocket, there's nobody in this room has money in their pocket. None of you. Nobody has money. Has anybody got money? Have you got any money in your pocket? Plastic card. That's not money. Have you got any money in your pocket? If you've gold, you've money. That's currency. Your currency is pound sterling. Another currency is dollars. Another currency is euro. These are currencies. It's not money. Money is still gold and silver. But why I'm telling you this, guys, it leads me to the next story of FutureNet. We are creating our own digital money system. And the good news is, we are only making a fixed amount of it. We're not going to print more and more and more and more. So that means you, if you get your hands on some of this, it will go up in value, up in value, up in value, up in value, because we're not printing any more of it. Yeah? Because the government can print more cash, yours is worth nothing, it's worth less. We're going to create a digital currency called the Futuro coin. F-U-T-U-R-O, Futuro coin. If you come in at the Royal Package, and ask somebody what's the Royal Package, if you come in at the Royal Mail in our business, we're going to give you 50 of these for free, as a, as, as a gift. If you introduce the Royal, we're going to give you five extra coins for every Royal you introduce. If you've got royals in your team, let's say this is me and I've got these seven people are royals, I get seven coins in your team. So we're going to give you away free coins right now until we release the currency. If you help us build the community and build the teams. So not only can we build this business we've just looked at tonight, we're going to give you some extra value with the launch of our Futuro coin. Now, digital money is the future. Digital radio, digital music, digital everything, digital TV, digital watches. Money is going digital. It's called cryptocurrency. It's safe. Here's the good news, guys. There's no banks involved. There's no government. The government don't know you have it. The banks don't know you have it because we're getting rid of the banks. We don't need them. You see, we're going back to bartering, back to the way money used to be. Business person to person. It's called peer to peer. You walk into my shop and give me a pound, I give you an apple. You walk out and eat the apple, I keep the pound. Nobody knows you did it. No bank, no government, no checkbook, no visa card, no system. That's called person-to-person -person transaction. In the old days, this is how money worked. You traded a fish for some meat. You traded, um, you traded flowers for some corn. You traded your hard work or for something. You traded one product for another product. That's how money started in the old days. One thing for another. Yeah? This is what we're going back to, where it's person-to-person -person transaction. You see, if you use a credit card or a Visa card, that's bad business today, because there are charges and charges and terrible things going on with that system. We're going back to person-to-person -person transfer. So if he owes me 100 quid, he gives me 100 of cryptocurrency, the government don't know he gave me it, nobody knows, I have it, it's person-to-person, -person, like apple for pear, apple for orange, apple for whatever, yeah? Fish for meat, corn for fish. Yep. If you're a joiner and I'm a plumber, you do the joiner in my house and I do the plumbing. It's equal value for equal value. Yeah. This is what we need to do. So cryptocurrency is cryptographic. It means we take the money and we digitalize and code it so nobody can see who has it and what it is. You see, in India, what they did was they took away two of the biggest notes in circulation. Why did they do that? Because the government want to say, well, where's all the money? We can't see it. 
Do you know where the most uh, five, there's, there's a 500 euro note? Yeah, it was produced for Europe. Do you know where the most 500 euro notes are? In South America. Huh. All the 500 euro notes that they produce, the most of them are sitting in South America, they're not in Europe. Why is that? I have a guess. Because the drug people paid with a big 500 bill and it all went out to South America, so all the big notes are over there, they're not here. So what the government will do is they will take away the 500 euro note and they're stuck with no money. But when we do it digitally, they can't. So we're going to create our own digital currency. We're going to give you free money if you help us build our program through the Royal Program. And this is going to launch this year. It's very important now, with knowing that this is coming, to start building your network. Because everybody you introduce is in your network in the Futuro money system. If you have three customers, or nine customers, or 50 customers, and they tell 50 or 100, that's your network within the Futuro money system. And if we can pay each other with Futuro. You can turn your Futuro into pounds, you can turn your Futuro into dollars, you can spend your Futuro at the FutureNet Cafe. We're also going to open a trading system as well. So, we all know eBay, yeah? Let's say, I have six kids, let's say um, we have two bicycles, they're good bicycles, we're not using them, we want to get rid of them, so we put them on the system, two very good BMW bikes, one year old, you know, I want 40 pounds for them. I could market that on our system, on our website. And you might say, you know that bike, I'm doing my, I'm doing my son, instead of spending 100 quid on a new bike, this is a brand new bike, working for 40 quid, I'll buy it off me. I'll keep Futuro. For the bicycle, you get the bicycle. Yeah? Hello, money for money. Goods for services, yeah? So we, we, we're going to create our own shopping system where we can market anything we want and sell between the members and pay with Futuro. Now let's say, let's say you give me Futuro for the bicycle. I said, I don't want Futuro. Tesla's don't take it. We can turn it into pounds for you straight away. Immediately, turn it into pounds or into dollars or into Bitcoin or whatever currency you want. This is going to be a live digital currency that you can sell in day one on the marketplace. There's no doubt about it. You know FutureNet's technology is excellent. Everything works from a technical point of view. It's very slick. It's, uh, when you press the buttons, they all seem to work. This currency is going to be fantastic, I believe. And you're in at the very beginning. What you need to do is start thinking about this big time and saying, you know, you could be the biggest holder of Futuro. There was a coin set up about 10 years ago called Bitcoin. It's abbreviated BTC, Bitcoin. This Bitcoin was invented by a guy called Satoshi Nakamoto. Sounds Japanese. Satoshi Nakamoto. He developed this cryptocurrency called Bitcoin. And he put it out on the internet. And what you can do is you can mine for these coins yourself. You can sit at home at night and get your computer to go and get some of these from the internet. These coins are available on the internet. Our Futuro coin will be available on the internet. Then you can mine for them, right? And this coin was no good because nobody wanted it. Nobody was interested in it. Digital currency? I never heard of that. Who's, I can't spend that, that's no good to me. But this guy started producing them anyway. And after about six years, there was one of these geeks doing these, mining for these coins, he was hungry, starving. And he said to the network, he said, hey guys, anybody out there, get me a couple of pizzas, and I'll give you 10,000 of these silly coins that I have. <laughs> what? Listen, I'm starving. If anybody out there could go and buy me two pizzas, I have no money, get me two pizzas, get, that, get a taxi to deliver them to me, and cost you 30, 40 quid. I'll give you 10,000 of these coins. And I've got them off the internet. I mine these coins. You can have 10,000 coins. <laughs> and one of the gates says, Well, I'm doing this every night, and I have 9,000 coins. And he's going to give me 10,000 coins for a couple of pizzas? Right, I'll take it. I'll, I'll do that. So the guy rang up and said, What do you want in your pizza? He ordered two pizzas, and he man delivered, and he shipped them across 10,000 of these bitcoins. Yeah? Do you know how much worth of Bitcoin's worth today? Thousand pounds. Thirteen hundred dollars or a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds sterling. He gave away ten thousand bitcoins for two pizzas. They're worth a thousand each. They were the dearest pizzas ever bought. <laughs> they were the dearest pizzas ever bought. <laughs> 
expensive as ever. <laughs> but that made the coin worth 10 cent each at that time. And since that, it's done this. We're about to launch Futuro coin, and we're not going to take 10 years to run into it. We're going to launch it this year. And you have a chance now, because there's nobody who has this information. Very few people have this information. I'm giving it to you. It's easy to do, and it's equally easy not to do. I'm telling you, do it. I'm telling you, roll up your sleeves, build that royal program. Royal, 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 royal. Build that, because you're going to make seven and a half million on a 50% check match anyway. But we're going to give you Futuro coin. You're going to be the leading. You want to accumulate as many of these coins as you can. And the reason these go up in value is why? Why are they going up in value? Because there's only 21 million ever made. The government are printing 80 billion a month of paper money, and there's only 21 million of these ever made. It's called supply and demand. When there's a little supply and a big demand, the price goes up. Yeah, that's what happens. We are launching the Futuro coin. There's only going to be, we're doing five times bigger. We're making 100 million coins available. We're saving 30 million for you. We're saving 30 million of those coins for you guys, because you're in our business. The 70 million, anybody can get them online. <coughs> but you could change your whole family history, your whole family circumstances. The guys that set up Facebook are big into this. The original founders of Facebook are called the Winklevoss Twins. Have you ever heard of them? Look that up. The Winklevoss Twins. They set up Facebook, and Mark Zuckerberg copied the idea, actually. There's a story. There's a film about it. The Winklevoss Twins are one of the biggest holders of Bitcoin today. And they set up Facebook. Can you see the marriage where Facebook is like FutureNet, and Futuro is like Bitcoin? That these guys are copying and improving on the best ideas possible. So that's all I want to say on a Futuro coin. Um, so lads, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, everybody, thank you for coming tonight. I know it was a lot of information, but I don't come here every week anymore. I did at the start. But now we've leaders in place. Because you might need me to go to Pakistan or India or America or uh, wherever you want me to go to build a business, I'll work for you. Yeah? You don't have to pay me anything. Yeah? So what I'm going to do for the English-speaking markets, and I can work in translation, so let's say um, I can't speak a language that you have. If you want to go with me to a country and we do a, I say it and you convert, we can do that. Uh, but we're going to build this business all over the world. And it's a very, very exciting time. It's the beginning of 2017. I hope you've learned something tonight. I hope you've found something interesting tonight. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. There has been a lot of information. Please take as much of it on board as you can. Come again and listen, always come. These guys show up all the time. Yeah? That's why they're making the big money. The guys that don't show up aren't making the money. The guys that show up make the money. So number one rule, show up. Yeah? He's made over 60,000. Why he always shows up? 15,000 shows up. 2,000 shows up. The people that show up make the money. Keep showing up. Start building your list. Start learning to invite people to the presentation. I wish you all the success. I'll hand it back to you. Excellent, well, that was an uh, absolutely fantastic presentation. Doctor, you just can please give an hour of applause to you. Thank you very much. Excellent.